Hello friends, today I'm going to read to you a different. Kevin finished his homework in the library after school and hurried out. He hoped there were still enough guys around for a good game of basketball. Kevin turned the corner toward the schoolyard. He could see some boys across the playground. They were all making noise and having fun. He was glad they were still there. As Kevin came closer to the boys, he could sense that some, something was wrong. The boys were grouped closely, closely together and the cheers sounded more like teasing. When Kevin reached the elders, others, he could see what was going on. The group was, was throwing a baseball cap back and forth. They were playing keep away from one boy in the middle. His name was Joey and he was deaf. Deaf means you can't hear. What's the matter, Joey? They teased. Poor little Joey wants his cap back. They laughed as they tossed the cap from one boy to an, to the next. Joey ran and jumped in between them, but they couldn't catch his his hat, cat, cap. Hey, Kevin, here! One of the boys shouted as Kevin approached them. The boy, the boy tossed Joey's cap to Kevin. All the boys shouted and waved their arms, calling for the cap back from Kevin. Joey ran over and stopped in front of Kevin. Kevin could see that Joey's face was streaked with tears. Come on, Kevin, throw it here, the other boys shouted. Joey stood silent. His hair was a mess and his clothes were damp with sweat. Kevin handed the cap to Joey. Joey looked at Kevin for a moment, then pulled on his cap and ran away. The other boys booed and shouted at Kevin. Aw, look at the BFFs, they teased. More like DFFs, deaf, deaf friends forever. Hey, are you going to hang out and not hear things together? Yeah. Now Kevin found found himself in the middle middle of the crowd of boys. They closed in around him. Kevin had to say something. That insult doesn't even make sense. You guys shouldn't pick on mm -hmm. pick on Joey because he's different. Kevin said. Think of how hard it is must how hard it must be to be deaf and think how much you've hurt his feelings. Kevin didn't feel like playing basketball with those guys anymore. He broke through the boys and ran after Joey. Okay, that's all. Remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye.